is my current room. So we just found out that I'm getting another roommate tonight. My face, guys. Getting another roommate tonight at three o'clock and 30 minutes. And then I'm getting, then they're actually moving me rooms because this room has been so loud with the construction and the fan. So God's working all things out for my greater good. I'm probably gonna be in room on the, all the way on the other side, right, babe? Yeah, so we're going side. outside. We're going for a walk. We got our new wheelchair. This is a new ride. I get to like lay down in a recline. Got my what do you call it? They they call it the turtle. Yeah, turtle shell. I call it my armor. So I'm gonna get out and get some fresh air, huh, babe? Yeah, I'm gonna work this burrito off. Oh yeah, you got a big burrito. Big burrito. I just wanted to see over there real quick. Hmm. Very cool. Huh. Okay. Got it. That's where Ronnie's staying. We're here. We got, I got a doc. A doc? Nurse practitioner. Nurse practitioner. Hey, hey. Hey. She's going to give me the scoop, eh? Can I have some of those pillows? Oh, I don't you need can, hold these pillows. can we do that? Yeah. Thanks, friend. So, this is oncology. I've been waiting for this this little meeting here to find out the scoop, eh? We're going to go drop one and then drop one more and then we'll be good. Thanks, doll. You're welcome. Appreciate it. That? Good. Okay. Good. Tell me what's going yeah, on. So, um, some, well, this trip is all the way back, huh? Oh, yeah, it's way back. Um, some minimal update. I got the pathology report back from your section, okay. essentially, and it, it just says metastatic thyroid carcinoma. Okay. Meaning, so it's coming from the thyroid. Okay. Okay. We knew we that. We knew that. Right. The thing is, they didn't put whether what subtype it is, whether it's papillary, whether it's um, a different form. I know you have papillary thyroid okay. cancer, right? So I sent a message to the pathologist and I asked, can you give me a subtype? Because the subtype determines treatment. Okay. So that's kind of where we're at. I'm waiting for that subtype. I'm also waiting from your pathology report and some other stuff from Vegas or Nevada. No, you're not. Are you? I am. Who yeah. you need? Who you need? I called all of them. Yeah, so they just need to fax it to us. They were, they if... were supposed to fax everything to him or to my room, but now I moved rooms. Let me see. My phone might die on me here, but let me look if I can pull it's it. It's okay. Up. You need a charger. I got one. I don't have an iPhone. Oh. But I appreciate you. You don't have an iPhone. It's okay. I won't judge you. I won't judge you. Okay, it's not going to show me on this view. When I looked a couple of days ago, I didn't have anything. And when I looked this afternoon, there was nothing in the stand-in files. So I will check again. Sometimes it lands in a different spot when it's inpatient versus outpatient clinic. And I will okay. also ask um, our medical assistant if anything came through our fax queue for it. Okay, because you would get one thing from, two things from Desert Radiology, maybe two. So I have reports of things and able to see when you got biopsies done and imaging done and what those imaging says. Okay. I don't, I just don't have the slide review to compare apples to apples or orange to oranges from the pathology there from the pathology here. Okay. So I need to know what the subtype is here on your imaging. And I need to know the pathology report that says, yes, this is for sure what you have from there. So subtype? Yeah. So I just need the pathology report. Why are they not sending anything? Sometimes the process takes up to 72 business days through medical records. Well, they, but they faxed it immediately because they knew I was here and I went in for emergency surgery. Okay. I'll look through any of the other stuff and see if there isn't just like a path report wedged in between some of that stuff. Okay. So, so pathology report and you need a code? Nope. Just the pathology report. That's it. Yeah. I have everything else. So the biggest, the biggest thing is 
is what the subtype is here. Subtype, and, oh, yeah. here. Yeah, not, that don't matches, write sub correct. That will determine treatment. And you do, do you want to stay here for treatment? Well, or, I, I mean, I wanted to. I don't know what's going to happen. Like, so currently, because I said after surgery, I can't have any radiation done two weeks after the the surgery. Correct. So I just had the th surgery done on Friday. Right. So right now we're a week. Right. So the okay for surgery comes from the surgeon, but we allow time for the area to heal before we hit it with more radiation. Okay. Yeah. Usually it's like four weeks post that we start doing radiation to that area. Again. Okay. Yeah. So usually has the radiation oncology team came by yet? Not again because they they were waiting for you guys I guess to do the yes whole pathology yes so I am waiting on that subtype until I want them to the pathologist to do another addendum clarifying what it is because it depending on what it is is going to completely change management of what we recommend okay so who would actually have the pathology so the, just our pathology here so I sent a message to the pathologist who read your pathology because all it says right now is metastatic thyroid carcinoma. That just means metastatic thyroid cancer. That doesn't tell me anaplastic thyroid. That doesn't tell me if it's papillary thyroid. It doesn't tell me the type of thyroid cancer. So I just want to make sure that- So this is the problem is, is that they messed up on my labs. They kept saying that I didn't have cancer. So that's what it's gonna say. No, the pathology says that it's something cancerous okay. of the thyroid. The thing is, is that you can have different types of thyroid cancers. Okay. Originating from a different cell in the thyroid. Okay. So you can have something called anaplastic thyroid cancer. You can have something called papillary thyroid cancer, which is what I believe you had diagnosed with originally, the papillary thyroid type cancer. But I need that to match up and I need to See, know. See, because when they took out the thyroid, they yeah. said it was benign. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's a problem. Okay. Get that? Yeah. First time they did the biopsy, they said it was suspicious. Okay. Second time they did a biopsy, benign. Then I said, yo, this thing is the size of a golf ball. Yeah. Well, you're young enough. You can get it out if you want. Okay, let's take it out. Boom. Book surgery. They tested it. They woke me up. Jen, guess what? You're cancer free. It was benign. And then the, the reports say otherwise, essentially. I don't know, girlfriend. That's what I'm know. trying to say. Yeah, I don't know. And so I called Steinberg. They were supposed to have everything transferred immediately. I called Desert Radiology because there's only two yeah. labs that I've been to, except for the one that's in the hospital. Right. Right? And that's it. They were sending it immediately. Because I was like, do not play. I need it now. Like, I'm in Arizona. This is not something to, like, mess around with. Yeah, okay. So, because of that, because I don't, I didn't get that part of it. Yeah, that's right. why, so, that's why this is such a, an ordeal. So then yeah, by the course. time I got to my radiation oncologist, Dr. Toy. Yeah. And then I have my, my primary, okay. Yeah. They were both baffled. I mean, baffled. They pulled all my records, and they're like, what the heck is going on? And so he said, so pretty much people have been doing their job, and you've had cancer for four years. And we have no path on it. So maybe that's why I'm, I'm missing some of that. I'm telling so. you, if you pull, oh my gosh, so my husband's backpack's not here because I would give you my files. But doctor, you already took copies of it. It literally says suspicious. Yeah. The I'll, next one says benign, and the final one says benign. I'll, so he's on vacation this week, so I'll look, see if it's sitting on his desk. Okay. Yeah, that way I can take a look at it. That's why I want the pathologist to determine what type of subtype this is, because that's important. Yeah. So that's what I'm waiting on. Okay. And as, as far as treatment-wise goes, our coordinator is looking into your insurance and whether or not you can be seen with the insurance here. Here, I'm fine with that. Correct. Because so, I'm probably still going to be here. Okay. I think so too. I think your ELOS, which is your estimated length of stay, is two weeks here. 
Okay. So last I checked, that can change based on how you Because he said something it. about my link said, that Dr. Link said, you know, oh, we might be having you go home next week. And I'm like, eh? That would be two weeks though, wouldn't it, from surgery? Just about? Yeah, but not two weeks in rehab. True. I just got just here. Got I just here. got here yesterday. Yeah. I mean, you are progressing fairly well. That was really good how you're walking back. Yeah. So it really depends on how well you're progressing and how quickly. Yeah. Um, but w- regardless of that, she's looking into everything right now. I wanted to actually have a date and time for you to come and see us outpatient. Okay. But she said she needed to clarify all that before we made that appointment because then you have a really hefty bill to pay if it's not covered. Got it. So that's what I'm waiting on. So I'm waiting on two things. Okay. So the message was sent to the pathologist yesterday. Sometimes it's a 72 hour business day turnaround time. Okay. So I'm hoping to have something definitive Monday. Okay. Okay. But just know that's what you're dealing with. You're dealing with some shade. You can make shade shade. Yeah. Not for real. See? And I've been See? tested every year. I've had ultrasounds done every year. I've had biopsies. Yeah. Nothing. I, I don't have any words for no, it. No, I know. Yeah. And then I so. just had an ultrasound before we left Vegas. I had a brand new, brand new ultrasound of my whole neck. Like everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. They she said she found a little tiny lint down there. They usually keep your blocks and path tissue. I wonder if it needs to be compared percent or even if it's benign or suspicious. It doesn't matter. I don't know. Okay. But just know I'm be praying. This is crazy. I know. This, that's crazy. Yeah, I, this is like I just told her I just told her my story yeah. you know and so that's what happened five years ago we think it's thyroid cancer okay great what go in doing? biopsy suspicious let's do a second biopsy you had lots of nodules on your thyroid no I just said like it was a golf ball like I couldn't like swallow it was like, oh. you know uh, what I mean well, but you could feel it and see yeah it. yeah is that my husband I think so Hi, you're here at the perfect time. Hello, hi. You straight look hi. like a fishing country guy walking in <laughs> with a big old mane of hair. Hi, honey. How are you? I'm good. Would you like to sit down? No. No, you're good. Uh, so, it, so she's oncology with Doctor 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 you. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Nice so I just you. told her. So can you just explain that to him real quick? Yeah. So I was just explaining that now this makes sense as to why I don't have like full pathology reports from where you live because she was just explaining that everything seemed to be suspicious and benign benign on everything so the pathology from here is just saying metastatic thyroid carcinoma so we know it's coming from the thyroid that's into the back the only thing is is what i'm waiting on is the subtype what type of thyroid cancer because there's multiple types of thyroid cancer and so in order to know how we're going to treat things i need to know the type and so I sent a message to the pathologist, doctor, actually doctor, you sent a message to the pathologist with me on it, asking, can you clarify the subtype of what this is in the pathology report? Because we won't be able to make a plan of care until that's resulted. Okay. So that's what I'm moving on. Um, the second thing is insurance. I have our program coordinator looking into her insurance currently to see if everything is okay and everything will be paid for when she comes sees us outpatient. Okay. Yeah, so those are the two things. So I'm sorry this isn't like definitive, this is what we're going it's to fine. do. It's fine, at least you showed up. I just prayed that you guys showed up today. So I at least know that, you know. Yes. I mean, I already knew he was working on it. Then I heard he was out of town, but I was like, it doesn't matter. I know someone's still working on yes. it. Yeah. I came a couple of days ago and he had just left to rehab. Like literally had just left, he didn't even have a room number yet. And I was like, okay, I'll okay. come back when she gets situated. Uh-huh. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that's the plan. As soon as I get a, a type and then um, Dr. Yu is not here today. He's back Monday. We'll make a plan and kind of cool. talk about what it's going to look like. Cool. Oh, that's good news. Good news? Yeah. Yeah. It's good news because it's some news. Yes. Can you have my chopstick, baby? Yeah. So, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm thank so you. sorry. That's what you've been going through for the last... Well, I didn't even know I was going through it until eight weeks years. ago. Yeah. Eight weeks ago, I, I found out, oh, you have cancer. Yeah. It's four years old. Who told you that... Who was the one that told you that news? Was it the same people who kept saying it was benign, benign, benign? No, my radiation oncologist, he's brilliant. Yeah, Dr. Like, Toy. Boom, yeah. Dr. Did, Toy. How did you 
get to the radiation oncologist and why were you at the radiation oncologist? Because my regular oncologist sent me over. Yeah, but why were you at an oncologist at all? Without because, the cancer? Well, because what happened was I went and my back was so bad uh -huh. that I finally got into an MRI. Okay. And as soon as I got in the MRI, my doctor, my primary yeah. that goes to bat for me said, Jen, there's something in your back. Yeah. And I'm like, what? And he's like, and it looks like a tumor, so I need you to get a biopsy right away. And I was like, oh my gosh. The so then I got a biopsy. Yeah. At that's Steinberg. where I read the papillary carcinoma. Yes. That's, that's where I'm getting that from. Okay. That's where you're getting that from. Okay. Because they were dead on. Yeah. And so they were like, no. They, and they got on it, like, immediately. Okay. I mean, they got those labs to my primary immediately. And then I just... I was oh, yeah. zooming my doc, and I just said, look, I um, need you to, hey, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's actually good, but where, what time are we at? You're um, about four and a half hours. Wow, good, let's go five. Sweet, thanks, babe. Um, so then that's when I said, just please get me the best oncologist you can get me in Vegas, because I just, yeah, still running around. So I was just like, give me the best. So then he gave me Dr. Gupta. And then we kind of found out, which I mean, I don't really know him as a doctor, but he's pretty much a middleman pusher. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, yeah. you, you know, I mean, in Vegas, that's how it is. Yeah. That's what that job appears to be. Yeah. Because, you know, he sent me to radiation oncology. And then this radiation oncology place, like they called me immediately. Like they called me immediately because the doctor received my files yeah. and he saw that there was a tumor in the, in the spinal canal. And then he also saw that there was the bone tumor that's the size of my pelvic. Show her the picture, babe. And so he was just like, we've got to shrink this thing. Yeah. Like you've got to be in excruciating pain. He was surprised that I could wiggle my toes. He was surprised I could move my feet. He was surprised I could stand or sit. Like, he's like, you shouldn't be able to do any of those. So you got some form of, oh my gosh. It takes up my whole pelvic. Yeah, it. It's eaten like part of the bone. Yeah, I'm surprised that you can walk. That's, so that's what everybody says. Yeah, and that's why I have to keep telling people like, don't move me fast. Don't move me. Like, just yeah. let me show you how fast or slow I can move. Yeah. So, did you get end up getting radiation yeah. to that he's, area? Yeah. He zapped me immediately. He okay. says, most people would do this in six treatments, like over a six-week span. He's like, nope, I'm doing it in five. Yeah. You did. So, he did it in five. Yeah. And then after he did it. Mm -hmm. And then after he did it in five, boom. I was off of medication for two, day, two days because Vegas won't refill your prescriptions yeah. like that. I mean, everywhere, whatever. And so anyways, I went into excruciating pain. And then I just felt everything like inflamed in there, uh -huh. including the thoracic. Yeah. And then, boom, ER. Yeah. And then the ER, that ER doctor, he went back to bat for me. He's like, you know, at some point we have to admit that we don't know what the hell we're doing. And he's like, and we don't know who we're doing, and there's not one surgeon in this town that could do surgery on her. And if they don't do surgery on her, she's going to be paralyzed for the rest of her life. Yeah. So I arrived here last Thursday. Yeah. Got Dr. Porter, and he caused a miracle in my body. Yeah. The guy walks like he's a saint. He even looks like it. I know. <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, that's how all our neurosurgeons are. And they're all personable, which is even weirder for a neurosurgeon. He's so. uh, phenomenal. He prayed with me. Oh, yeah. Took me in. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's very he's good phenomenal. at what he does. Yeah. So it was great. And now I've been able to move things that I have not been able to move since November of 2021. Wow. Yeah, that looked really good. I know how many days post op you are. That was, you're progressing very well. Thank you. So. I'm praying, honey. Yeah. I'm praying, 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 praying. Yeah, you're moving very well. So, the next step is to get you treated because we got to take care of. So even, even if we, right, so you take it out, you do radiation to the cavity mm -hmm. to prevent anything the cells in that area from growing back into that area. 
then we have to prepare the rest of the body because we know that tumors kind of like to shed micro particles into your bloodstream mm -hmm. and like to deposit in other places. Right. So we don't want that to happen. Right. So then we got to do treat you systemically. Yep. So now we're just waiting on what we're going to do systemically depending on the subtype. Okay. I know you guys will make a good choice. Yeah. And I will tell you, Dr. Dr. U is phenomenal. I, We've I, heard I wouldn't work with anybody things. that doesn't care about people. Like, and I've worked with people like that and I usually quit. So yeah. really like him. And he will tell you if he thinks that I have somebody that I think you should be with because I don't do this a lot and he's an expert. Yeah. If, if it's sometimes papillaries and what he treats. So, okay. but we're gonna see what it all looks like and he knows everybody. Yeah, who's it, Dr. Kennedy? Dr. Kennedy's the radiation oncologist. He speaks very highly of Dr. Yu. Yes. Yes. So very I, highly. I used to work in radiation oncology with Dr. Kennedy and Dr. Garcia. My whole background is oncology for the last 10 years. Oh, nice. And then I moved to medical oncology to be a star of Dr. Yu. And both of them are just outstanding physicians. Nice. I, I, so. I mean, that's really my choice. I'd rather, you know, my insurance just take care of it here. I just don't want to do... If I had to do anything in Vegas, it would be my radiation oncology mm -hmm. with toy. You know, like if you guys were like, okay, this is what we want to do. And then I would do my PT. But otherwise, I really don't want to have anything to do with Vegas. Okay. We are going to try our best. In the event your insurance does not allow you mm -hmm. to come here, what would you guys like to do? I don't know. We'll have to run a campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Just let us know it's possible. Yeah, I we try. We have people from other countries that come here. Yeah, just let so, us know it's possible. That's it. I'll try to make and it I'll work. make it happen. I'm 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 a professional. Ask of the, okay. I will ask people. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I need to be healed. Yep. Yeah. I would do that. What you're saying, and we would like to do that. Yeah. So. Okay. Are you feeling sensation in your feet? They're numb. Close your eyes for me. Tell me what side I'm touching you on. Left top foot. Right bottom, or the pinky toe, over the top of the foot. That's pretty good. Close ankle. Okay. Yeah. Does it feel even on both sides? No, one's number than the other. The Which, left is number than the other. Okay. You have me touching you up here? Yep. Okay. Knees. Right here? Yep. Top of thighs. Okay. And your arms that feel the same? No yeah. numbness tingling? No, they're strong. Good. Squeeze my fingers. Don't let me move your arms. Good. I'll be back up here. Thanks, Can you pull man. your toes towards you? Good. How about this one? Is he good? Good. Okay. It's pretty good. I read the operative report, so that it's really good. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's where we stand. I'll have more information probably Monday. Yay. And then we can, I just, the good news is, is that that big bulky tumor is out. The other one has been treated. And as far as I know, there isn't anything anywhere else besides in your back area. No, oh, there's tumors along my spine. Your back area, right. Okay. So and there's tumors on my lungs or there's can, can limps you, on my I really lungs. I need to look at your pet scan Can you again. clarify, because I heard when, like, I heard him say there's like lesions along her spine. Yeah. Like what's what's like, what's the difference? Like what's a lesion? Like what's like? Yeah. Tumor? So usually if there's lesions, it means that it, it you can see like the soft tissue mass within the spine, but it's not causing impingement of your cord. Meaning it's not flattening your cord. It's not causing issues like the one we took out that was. Okay. That's kind of what it means. Like usually it's like little spots. Mm. Okay. So we need them all zapped. Yeah. Well, or silver bullet. bullet. That's a radiation yeah. oncology. Yeah. And so. you guys do the silver bullet. Yeah, we. My neck. Radio surgery. Okay. Whatever he thinks. I know there's so much stuff out there now. Yeah. First I just don't want chemo. I can't guarantee that. I know. But there's we do a lot of it depending. We do a lot of different stuff here. So your tissue, for example, we would send out and it would do, we would look at it at a molecular level. Okay. And it would tell us whether or not you have a marker to target. Okay. So. All right, I'm open. I know I'm good hands being here. I'm biased, so yes, you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it feels like we are. Oh no, okay. we know we are because our pastor also sent us. Yeah. 
this place and then we prayed for it and it happened an hour later. Your pastor knew about this place? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Because one of our people, he just uh, just became an ordained pastor. His brother had a major tumor removed here. Oh, okay. They send everybody that's on the southwest, west, all of them come here. Yeah. They get people from everywhere. Yeah. So, but yeah, and then our radiation oncologist toy said, "Oh no, that, that they're great. They're great over there." Yeah, he and he was, doesn't compliment anybody. Yeah. I've actually, we, I feel like we've only heard him say nothing but nice things. Well, yeah. Well, about every doctor in Vegas, he just doesn't like them. And then no, this was like mentioned. Anybody. He's like, "Oh yeah." Yeah. yeah. He's okay. like, "Oh yeah, I'm glad you're there." Yeah. And he's like, "So tell me with the uh, oncology." Do, do, do. I said, "I haven't heard from them." Yet. He's like, I, "I'd be really curious to know what they're doing." Because he's really yeah. Harvard Medical. Then he went on with yeah. Michigan. He he's really okay. I get that. One yeah. of our our radonks is Stanford, Harvard, and then Doctor okay. used Michigan and got it. Yeah. So I get it. Yeah, he's gonna be curious to know what yeah. happens. So. Well, as soon as we have your plan, we'll you'll be able to tell him. We can tell him. Yay! He'll be happy to know yeah. that. Yeah. Because he's made his own calls, but you know. Yeah. Doesn't mean everyone's he's gonna make the call. He's, he's but he calls saying. me. He calls me. That's how you know that you got a good doc. Yeah, and a, a nurse's spirit in a doctor's body. <laughs> well, yeah, that's yeah. yeah no, he's yeah. he calls. Yeah. I love him. And that's partially why I like all the doctors I work with because they're like nurses' spirits and doctors' bodies because they care about people and yeah, yeah. I'm in for that. Yeah. Yay. So your your looks like your you said let's go five. So your pain's getting less and less. You're tolerating longer and longer without periods oh, of yeah. pain medicine. Mm-hmm. Good. Yeah, and I like my brain better than pills. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'll keep following along. I'll look over on the weekend. I'm on call this weekend, and if there is any change or something comes back, so I'll type. I'll call. Okay. Yeah. And I would not know what files you haven't gotten unless I would see them. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So. I know what I need. Okay. So some of the stuff people send is just fluff and I don't need it. And right. so I know what I will need and Dr. You knows what he needs. Okay. And if I'm, I'm just saying how I call, I know who know. I called for files. So if they didn't yeah. send it. Yeah. I know Did Toy send you everything? I have believe the radiation oncology. Okay, good. I have to double check. You have, what they do is they just take everything that's ever sent and they all load it up into a large file. Yeah. And I got to go slowly through it. Okay. So I'll double check it again, um, and we'll see what's going on there. All right, cool. Okay. Sounds good. But the, the main thing is focusing on your rehab. Oh, yeah. And getting where you I need am. to get. I am. I'm not worried about y'all. I know you're going to pop and up when you're ready. We'll have a, a plan in place when it's time. Perfect. When, when, you, when you say, like, you haven't gotten the stuff no, from, so, like, the past, is it, like, like funny business? No. So, um... I read Dr. Yu's note. He wrote a whole consult note on you. And so we have, like, imaging, right? So we have, like, the imaging results, and there's some path results. What I got confused about is that the path results that we have, it says, like, benign, benign. And so I'm trying to, was trying to figure out why exactly we are where we're at, but she's told me before you came in. Because that's what Dr. Gupta got, remember? The benign. He showed us right before we walked out the door. Yeah, so, so um, and I do have... And per Dr. Yu's note, which was just a couple of days ago before he left, was that he had the path report that's showing papillary, but it wasn't like a full review. And so he wants that. Got it. But I kind of care less about what they did because Clay clearly didn't do the things that we needed anyway. No, they didn't. And I really just care more about our pathology report and what's going to say and how we're going to manage it. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. where I'm at. I want to move forward. So um, as long as they are able to tell me a subtype. Sometimes what happens is like they can't tell a subtype and then I probably need to request that biopsy pathology slides to be sent to us for a, a secondary review. Got it. Sometimes that happens. Okay. But at the end of the day, it says metastatic thyroid cancer. We know that it's thyroid. We need to know just what type and everything else is kind of background noise. Okay. Because now that we know, we're gonna start treating. Yay. Okay. All right, sweet. Okay. I'm then, good to go. Anything else I can answer for you? No, I'm I you're having a blog, you said? Mm-hmm. A blog. I have a vlog. Mm-hmm. Oh, a vlog. I have a vlog. Very cool. Yeah, video vlog. Okay. Yeah, so this will be on there. Okay. Because there's I a ton of people that have thyroid cancer. 
yeah. in Vegas, and I have I, I just had girlfriends that just had their um, thyroids removed, and I'm just like it's like a pandemic of thyroid removal in Las Vegas, wow. and so I'm like, okay, make sure you get all your testing done, and no matter what, get radiation iodine or whatever, you got to get next because that wasn't even offered to me. I never even heard that conversation. Wasn't even offered. I don't understand. I don't yeah. either, but someone might be getting sued. We'll see. That's my well, stepfather. He's all on that, so I'm just like, do what you do. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways. Uh, all I care about now is taking care of you. Yeah. So. yeah. Okay? Yep. Right. But someone needs to also, you know, you make bad choices, you need to pay for your bad choices. Just like a robber breaks into someone's house and they go to jail. Sometimes that's what needs to happen to, you know, so people that, jail. yeah, or labs that don't this test is, this, it this right. Just like it's way out. Yeah. Eight weeks. And then we're just like on a plane, you know, and then our dogs are like losing their mind because we're like in Arizona. <laughs> but at that. least that, you know, at least they got like five, like seven people taking care of them every day. They're the most spoiled dogs on the planet right now. So, yeah. Right. Yay, yay. Alrighty. I'll keep following. Yeah, we'll talk to you I'll on Monday. Dr. You. Yep. You'll just see me or Dr. You. Sometimes you see me in the morning, Dr. You in the afternoon. Okay. And I won't be in this room. I'll be moved. Yeah, I think she's switching rooms tomorrow. Yeah. Which room are you going to? Like a private room? No. Going well, I just wish. Out, away from the construction that's right across. Because I didn't sleep all day. That's why I'm so tired right now. I just want to, like, chill. Oh, man. My brain hurts. Like, literally been spray washing the walls all day over here. That's what it sounds like. And running that fan in the home. That's what it sounds like. It sounds sounds like high pressure wall. So it's been like all day. I woke up with a headache right now. So I'm like, oh, so they just brought me the ice pack. Now he's going to give me my medicine. I'm hoping just to chill. Yeah. It's busy in this building. Yeah. I've had lots of meetings today. Oh, yeah. As soon as you it's get rest, busy. the next occupational therapist comes in and tells you to get up. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, no, actually, it hasn't been that. It's been, I'm your caseworker. I'm like, oh. okay, and then it's like, I'm your health nutritionist. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're still sending me chicken. I'm like, dude. No chicken, no beef. Yeah. I'm like, I whatever. Read. Yeah. Yeah. You can read. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, that's fine. It. Hey. There's way more you could complain about in life. I'm not going to complain. I just don't like wasting food. I, especially when we serve the homeless. That irritates me. Yeah. Like, someone's starving at night, and you're still serving me chicken, bro. Mm-hmm. Irony of that. I know. Okay. So, it's all, all good. Right. I'm going to leave my card. Okay, sweet, and yes. I'm going to... I should have a pen in my pocket. I have one. I have one going to write Joy, who is my nurse. Joy? Yep. I can remember that. I'm going to write it on the card, so you don't have to. Joy, Joy, Joy. That's joy I'm going to give, give you her direct line in the event you need anything. You can call I probably anything. won't need anything. I yeah. just need you guys to give me something. That's fine. Tell me something good <laughs> on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. That's all but, I need from you guys. Yeah, but my also if you want to no. call, that's, I that's just, the card. I'm happy to do or answer anything. You just got to pick up the phone and call. Okay. Do you want to hold it in your wallet or I can put it with my yeah, stickers? Do you want a sticker? Sure. Do you like stickers? Yeah. I like anything in life that brings any type of joy. Right? Yeah. Oh, I don't pick want Pick a few. <laughs> I really like this one. The Explore More. Yeah. Yeah, this one's for you. I'm sure it was to say, Joy. You're doing great. Thanks, friend. I'll use this one tonight. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, top two stickers. (laughs) Yeah. Doing great. All righty. What time is it? Six o'clock? Yeah, just up a little bit. There we go. Yay. (laughs) You're the best. All righty.
All right, my doll. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice visiting with you. Yeah. Thanks for all your information. Emma. Emma. Yep, Emma. my name is Emma, Emma. nurse Thank practitioner. So Very nice to meet you both. As soon as I have the final pieces of the puzzle. Bam, bam. We'll hear from okay. you. Yep, you will hear from us. Sweet. Sound good? Yes. Sounds great. Okay. Thanks, All right. You're welcome. Do you have the door open shut? Oh, no. Shut it. Okay. Shut <laughs> it. I don't know. Some people feel claustrophobic. Nope, no, not me. Good. I'm good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Emma. Hi, honey. Hey. How's your nap? It's good. I just saw her grandkid. Oh, I didn't get to see you. Hi. Say hi, honey. Okay, so we're updating you guys on today. Today was really good. Um, it started out rough because I had to take a shower. And um, I don't know, I was just fussy. And then finally got out of the shower and then I felt really, really good. And then they took me to physical therapy, mm -hmm. right? Yes, physical therapy. First was occupational. That was a shower, was it occupational? Yeah. Yeah, and then physical therapy. And then, um, then occupational therapy and I got to lift weights which that was really good because I like to lift weights, so that was fun for me. And then I came back and I rested, and then we did physical therapy, and they actually stretched my legs, which really helped a lot. So that was good. And then I ate really good today. I mean, like, they have good food here if you order right. Um, and I had a couple smoothies today, huh? So that was good. And um, the only thing that was bad today was there was a ton of construction, like a ton, a ton. So th everyone in all these units was not able to sleep like all day and it was pretty rough. So anyways, construction's done for the night. I don't know if it's starting back up tomorrow, but I think that they're moving a lot of people off of this side because the construction was too loud even for the employees to think they were all agitated and irritated. So please pray for everybody on this side of the building. They're going to move us all, I think, onto the other side of the building so we can get proper rest and sleep and heal. Right? Mm -hmm. And what else happened? I did a family call today. That was good. And, oh, good news, you guys. Mo got placement in an acute um, rehabilitation center in Las Vegas. So that is what's going on and there's a possibility of future places after this but they're going to start there which I think is really great because at least she's getting the help that she needs. So thank you for praying but I want to ask you to continue to pray for her and then I got a new roommate and pray for her because she just came out. She just came down so you know, pray the next two days are really good for her and that she can just push through because I know how she's feeling. It's pretty rough. And um, what else? Oh, Ronnie's going to see his cousin tomorrow to go shopping because I don't have any leggings or anything for physical therapy here. So Ronnie's going to go get me some leggings and a new toothbrush and goodies and then I have good news one of my girlfriends Tracy she moved here and so anyway she lives here and she's one of my praying girlfriends and so she's gonna stop by tomorrow and I just know I'm gonna cry as soon as I see her because it's just gonna be it's gonna be so good you know when you see your girlfriends it's always so good and I saw uh, my girlfriend Adrian on FaceTime tonight and yeah, so everything's really good. How do you think I did today, Ronnie? I think you did super duper. You went to bed, you showered, and you just, I mean, lifted weights and stuff. That was, I really had to reflect on you for that. Yeah. Because when we first met, we always talked about how we were chatting about being on the lift and stuff, but it just made me feel a lot better. Yeah, I love working. Yeah, we had a hot date. We went downstairs on my windy wheelchair. Yeah. Yeah. The reclining back. 
It reclines. It's fancy smancy. Shop. Shop. Yep. Oh, and I talked to my cousin Matt today. And we're getting together for Thanksgiving. Remember? And then he's, um, we have to see, but, um, oh, I, I'm going to pop in this video what the, um, oncologist came down, the PA for the oncology department. Nurse practitioner. Nurse practitioner. What was her name? Emma. Emma. She came down and gave us some new information, so I'm going to pop that into this video series. So, yeah, it was a good day. Even though there were hard spots, it was a good day. I did my best to rest a lot. What do you think? Did I do good on resting today? It was hard resting. It was hard, huh? Construction literally. Right outside my door. I just pray for all the people on this side that they can get the proper rest tonight. So, yay. Yay. So, anyways, I'll pop that information about the oncologist in um, so you guys could kind of see what's going on with the whole pathology. And I don't have much more because it's a very busy day during the day. I know I have um, some. Mm, PT tomorrow, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. OT? It's just not but it just won't be as long. long. So it'll feel more like a weekend. She said more just like an hour and a half. Okay. Let's okay. Yay. So, Ryan, show them how long your hair is. <sighs> so cool. <laughs> I love his hair. So anyways, we're desperate for shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> Don't forget to get that in the morning. I just remembered. And soap. So we got to add that to the list right now. So we're going to let you guys go. We love you. Say bye, honey. Bye.